toast also for starting the TV. In this video, we got 600 Breezy, King Yellow, Billionaire Black, and Charleston White. Now, I mean, I'm pretty sure if you're watching this video, you are already up to date on the uh, 600 Breezy and Charleston White situation. You know, it came out that 600 Breezy actually didn't check him like everyone, you know, assumed that he did. And Charleston White was still in character, and he was kind of barking back. He was wolfing back. Um, so... If you haven't been paying attention to King Yella, you should check him out. Uh, his channel is called what? King Yella the Great. Um, he done went up like <clears throat> at least like thirty or forty thousand subscribers, bro, within like the last month uh, since he made the jump to being a podcaster or being like a, a blogger or like a media personality uh, as well as rapping. His channel been going crazy, and people really kind of got the wrong um, picture of King Yella. He actually a real sensible, cool dude. You feel me? So anyway, 600 Breezy, uh, I guess he got a hold of when King Yellow was talking about that. Like he was talking about how, how Charleston White kind of was bucking back. Like Charleston White was getting on him um, as well. Like it wasn't just a one-sided thing. So 600 Breezy didn't like that. So 600 Breezy was on live talking about he wanted to box King Yellow. He wanted to box. Um, and... Ken Yellow responded pretty swiftly, bro, and he said that, all right, bro, they both on papers or whatever, so they want to do it. He want to do it the professional way, the right way, and he said that, uh, shit, let's get Floyd to set it up. We can box for 100000 and I think Ken Yellow really do know Floyd. He was claiming that he was signed to Floyd Mayweather a couple years ago, you know, so he probably is um, tied in with Floyd somehow, so he said that they can do that. And he also that basically said, uh, what 600 Breezy won't. He too big for him. Um, he beat people to sleep. He also clowned on 600 Breezy for once being GD and then flipping over to BD. Um, and, and he just pretty much just stressed the fact that he wanted to do this in a legal way so don't nobody get in trouble for this. But he said he's willing to put up 100 bands for uh, a fight. And, um, I mean, obviously they're going to have to get into training shape. But, yeah, he said that he's willing to put up 100 bands fight you know, they contact Floyd, get him to link it up. He said he's going to hit up Bo Deal, all, all type of people or whatever. But I, I don't know. Do y'all think that's going to really happen? Because once you get to adding all these people, you're talking about Bo Deal and Floyd and all that. I don't know. Usually it don't happen. Like Bow Wow and Chris Brown never fought. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Somebody get up out of here. Do you think it's really going to happen? Go.